Hello again, welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me Bill and this time we're going to look at some modica modifications I've made to my Variac. I've added a, a digital display which allows me to monitor the voltage, the current and also the power uh, which is something I particularly wanted to make use of when I'm doing some of my restorations particularly on uh, equipment that's got valves uh, or tubes if you like uh, because I want to keep a careful eye on how much uh, current is being drawn. So I um, hope that's going to prove a useful thing for you to see. But just to say, obviously this is working with mains electricity. Um, so if you decide to do something like this yourself, it's definitely your own risk. I couldn't recommend you did it. Um, but if you do decide to do it, please take care because there's obviously potential hazards, hazards with that kind of voltage. OK, let's go and have a look what I got up to. OK, well here's my Variac, and uh, Tip and Tearful Town is Variac, but uh, seems to work fine. And I've equipped it with a, a butt socket here, uh, and made sure these connections are very well insulated, so it's not possible to um, get anywhere near uh, mains voltage, whether it be either side of the of the Variac. The meter here does give you a, an idea of um, voltage, but it's not terribly accurate. Uh, and one of the things I would like to be able to do is to monitor the current that's being drawn as well. So I've got myself one of these things, which is a, again yet another little Chinese device, which allows you and it gives you a display of voltage, uh, current, uh, power in watts, and also I think it's also watt hours, which I'm less concerned about. But my plan is to try and um, mount it somewhere here, so possibly uh, cut that top off there and mount it on there so I can get that information while I'm while I'm using the Variac. So that's the plan. Okay so what I've done here is I've managed to mount the uh, the new meter on the front of the Variac housing. Uh, I've removed the old meter and kept it so I would be able to return it to the as supplied condition if necessary. And I've managed to secure it with two self tappers there. Uh, so I've just got to modify the wiring slightly, the neutral actually is jointly connected on those two, so the neutral's going there, uh, live is going, uh, sorry, the input from the Variac there, the AC in is going there, and the output is going on that one, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my time and very carefully insulate those wires so that uh, there's no danger of uh, being able to touch them, and then uh, we'll give it a test, but um, looking okay so far. OK, well, managed to route the wires through the side of the case there and made sure that the insulation is keeping any mains away from um, praying hands, so to speak. So all I need to do now is reassemble the Variac and give it a bit of a test and hope, uh, hope nothing goes bang. OK, apologies for the slightly wobbly camera work. This was really difficult to shoot with the camera in a fixed position. So you can now see the unit is actually attached uh, to the Variac, wired up and working. And it's showing uh, 229 volts, uh, 0.11 amps, which is about, it's saying about 25.4 watts. And we can ignore the energy, that's not much use to me. Uh, so that's the dis what the display is giving. Um, the voltage according to my voltmeter, 230.4, so that's within, it was certainly less than 1% of the display on there. And I've got the fluke meter measuring. AC amps and that's saying 110 milliamps, um, 110.7 to be precise and just to remind you the display on there is 0.11 and the fluke was 110.7 so certainly these measurements have, uh, are well close enough for, for what I want when I'm uh, checking something out um, and uh, so I'm pleased with that uh, so there, as you can just see, a, a general view of the of the unit mounted on top of, of the Variac. So, I'm um, pleased with that result. OK, well that's it for this video. I hope um, you found it useful. And as I said at the start, obviously if you're going to do this kind of thing, that's at your own risk. I, couldn't, I wouldn't recommend you did it. Um, I'm pleased with what I've ended up with and uh, it allows me to, to monitor carefully how much current's been drawn, which is what I was really interested in. Um, and so it, yeah, it's much better than the old uh, analogue uh, voltmeter, which wasn't 
terribly good. So hope that's been useful to see. Um, if you've liked the video please click the thumbs up. If you haven't you can click the thumbs down. Uh, either way it'd be great if you could uh, subscribe that would help. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.